What's up everybody? I just wanted to take a moment to tell you all about my Teesprings. The reason I set up a Teespring store is because I had a multitude of ideas that I felt would look really awesome on a shirt, and I felt that maybe people who follow me, whether on Twitch or YouTube and enjoy my content, would actually like to wear them. We have shirts from the Crisis Core logo, to in-joke shirts, and just straight badass design shirts. I only put up what I believe to be the highest quality designs on these shirts and set them to affordable prices I believe that people would be able to pay. So if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, why not buy a hoodie shirt or other apparel from my Teespring store? Or don't, I mean it's your money, you do whatever you want with it. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is DSP News, the unreliable ones. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the newsroom and welcome to the Gotopia News Network, your unreliable source for DSP News. No tagline. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with Snorpernell, DSP Gaming. <laughs> begging, cheering, begging cheers, using charity as an excuse. No T-Po slash dab emotes and waiting for a miracle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and see what we can make out of all of this. Uh, I guess a little bit of backstory. So, Phil was was basically uh, trying to conceive the idea of using, as he likes to call, detractor emotes to bank to make money off of. Not a bad idea. But then he he he's going to take a slight turn with it. Well, he was going to take a slight turn, as you guys may or may not know. No, uh, Twitch has tears. <clears throat> has uh, different types of tiers that you can subscribe to. And if one chose to do so, you can put certain emotes behind certain tiers or paywalls, if you will. And so Phil was basically thinking, well, I'll go ahead and put, I'll go ahead and put these two at the top, at the highest tier, or he's potentially thinking about putting it at the higher tiers because then you would have to shell out more money to use it. Now, there's kind of a problem with that over a couple of different spectrums. One if someone who decided to sub to those higher tiers decided to use those troll emotes, there's no guarantee that they wouldn't get uh they wouldn't be banned if they haven't if it hasn't already happened in the past at one time or another. Another thing, which is still rather interesting, and I think no one's really thought about it, but you know, you really wouldn't you would you really wouldn't have a reason to. Only people like me would do that, is that the people who are willing to sub for those emotes are more likely going to be detractors and trolls and so on and so forth. So this might be a way for Phil to try to single out who are, you know, the real haters and trolls in his uh, in his fan base by putting it at the higher tiers. Now, another thing that Phil tries to give a misconception about is that, oh, well, they'll just go through Twitch Prime, so on and so forth, and that's just kind of ripping me off. It's not. He still gets his money regardless, whether it's a sock account that they use, whether they use a gift card with only a penny on it, and what not to start it all up. Either which way, by hook or by crook, he's still going to get paid. He's still going to get his half of that sub. So this might be an, an ingenious uh, way of doing things. Maybe not. Either which way, Phil didn't go with it. He didn't do it for a couple reasons. One, Phil's focus, ladies and gentlemen, is not the game. It's the chat. That's all he gives a shit about. That's really all he cares about. That's where the majority of his focus is. So because of that, that's his safe space. That's his reassurance. That's right there is the, the link and uh, that I am still great because all of you guys are here and all of you guys in there, the whole 10 or 15 of you that are in there that are actually talking, um, that's, my, that's what proves my existence, my greatness, if you will. He can't afford to have that shit all cluttered up with emotes that people paid for to use, especially if they're ones that he doesn't like. And since his emotes are shit anyway, sorry Popsicolo, I know you're doing what you can, but I mean they're they're not the greatest. Um it is it kind of is what it is. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh 
so that's what the situation is with the emotes waiting for a miracle um at this point as i would assume that this is going to come out super late because i'm working on this holiday project um phil's waiting for that sixteen thousand dollars to come about to be perfectly honest with you quick fast and in a hurry and uh he's already been given 800 800 gifted subs at the time that i'm recording this as you know it's gonna be late so someone is in the works of doing something but he wants but the point of the whole waiting for a miracle is aka snort i want somebody to come in God damn that hurts someone please come in and pay all my bills someone please come in and fix my mistakes please come in and compensate for my lack of incompetency and cover up my mistakes you know make this all go away and pay it all off in full also Please don't, please do it in such a way where no added fees come about. And if you will, uh, wait till the beginning of the year. So I don't have to worry about, so I can pay those taxes on my 2019. Now I clowned him about that before, but in hindsight, and as most of you have already pointed out, it might be actually a smart idea to have whoever, is, whoever it is, go ahead and give him the money or them to give him the money at the, uh, at the beginning of next year just from a tax purpose deferring it if you will to another year it's not a bad idea speaking of which the individual in question is called emerald seven uh yeah that's a sonic reference i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty confident that's a sonic reference but his name is emerald seven and uh he's he's certainly trying to bring uh bring the uh, season's greetings to phil and uh let's see what else do we have to talk about <coughs> excuse me Oh, and the most egregious of all this, give me bits and a portion of that goes to charity. This is something that Twitch has done before, and this is something that Phil has tried to capitalize off before. Um, it's kind of disgusting because Phil doesn't give a really a damn about the charity. He's just using the charity as a pretense to get more, to get people in his fan base to give money. It's kind of a gross practice, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, what else would you expect from our resident pig roach, Dave? So... Uh, that kind of explains that. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry for the lack of uh, news broadcast. Like I said, I'm really trying to just get caught up on this uh, on these holiday videos and, uh, and whatnot. But once we get to like the five days, I think I'll be able to literally give you a, a Christmas video and a, uh, and a news broadcast at least up till Christmas. And then... Uh, plus or minus a couple days leading up into the new year and then after that uh there's going to be some things that are going to come up but uh we'll talk about that when we cross that bridge for right now we hit together let's go ahead and make it happen happy holidays ladies and gentlemen and let's get into this news dsp news ladies and gentlemen this is dsp news always late never breaking unreliable coverage that you can't count on oh yes a gtg network and productions you guys all know the slogan it's time to watch me work I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. Um, this is pretty important for anyone today who's thinking of cheering, whether on my stream or anyone else's, okay? I've always been a big proponent of this, and again, the third year in a row that I think Twitch has been doing this, and I want to be sure to promote it, the charity cheering drive has begun. What that means is when you cheer anywhere, if you're going to cheer in this channel, you're going to cheer in someone else's channel, wherever you're going to cheer bits, okay? If you include the hashtag charity in your cheer, you will basically be giving donations for free to charity, okay? It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost the streamer anything who you're cheering for. They still get all the bits that you're cheering. Oh no, I'm a greedy bastard. But it actually will give uh, free charity donations through Twitch, okay? I love that they do this during this time of the year as well, because typically this time of the year people feel more generous in general. And now knowing that you can actually help a charity without actually paying for it is pretty damned cool, right? So fucking greedy. Also, before we, we uh, do the schedule update, just so you guys know, yesterday I talked a little bit on pre-stream about, um, about new emotes in the stream chat, about a dab emote and a T-pose emote. I've decided against them. We're not going to use them. Um, it's Tevin's fault. Mostly because I really do feel that it would mostly be a negative influence on the channel and you'd get people 
basically doing it just to troll and come in and spam the channel and ask for dabbing and T-posing and basically just derailing everything. In general, it seemed like most people who actually are positively supportive of my content did not want it. And I said, you know what? We're not going to do it. Later tonight, my late stream, my first ever. No, yet again, that's kind of the, the whole charity thing is kind of shitty. But yet again, he's been doing it for three years. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If Phil was ever... You know how Phil says that, oh, I, I do donate to charities behind the scenes. I just don't tell anybody this, that, and the third. To be honest with you, this is probably what he's referring to. Oh, I promote I promote Twitch when they do their charity uh, things during the holidays, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's me contributing. Phil's the type of lame to do something like that. Second, as the emotes. Yet again, the man needs to shelter what little bit of a fragile ego he has left that hasn't fully crumbled and whatnot, you're in a position where you need money in the worst way possible. Excuse me. If you, you're you the one who came up with the idea, you're the one who was willing to, aka, well, aka, humiliate yourself, you know what I'm saying, to get yourself out of this tax problem, but now all of a sudden you think that your image means so goddamn much that, oh, I, I can't afford to do that now. I won't do it. I, 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 just, I, I won't bring up myself to do it. I won't derail the chat. I won't do this, that, and the third. If you're supposed to be focusing on the game, then the chat should be secondary anyway. Next point, you have mods. So your mods should be out there putting in the work, doing what they have to do to keep the chat, you know, reasonable. That's the, that's the next thing. Next point, they paid to use it. So let them use it. So think about that, ladies and gentlemen. This is, yet again, another example of his own making. You're the one who promoted this. You're the, well, you're the one who proposed this, I should say. You're the one who was was asking for feedback. And now, a small group of people who have a voice, because it's not like the collective can talk. The, a small group who has the voice says, no, Phil, you shouldn't do that, man. It's not going to work. But none of those guys, or I would say most of those individuals, aren't donating money to you. They're not giving you big donations or whatnot. Their names aren't popping up. So who were you really asking? People that you already knew what the answer was going to be? And you tried to... Uh, give the delusion, or no, not delusion, but the illusion that you were axing the collective, you were axing the fan base as a whole, like you gave a shit, or really, you just wanted to run it by these few in your little inner circle, you know what I'm saying, and being like, hey guys, what are your thoughts on this? Now, nah, fuck all that. Now, nah, fuck all that. We This is Nazi Germany. We don't give them anything. We give them the illusion of an inch, and we just take everything. That's how this works, Phil. You're right, dude. They can't have it. And that's essentially what happened. DSP News. Late night stream of Minecraft. Lol. I'm a mature adult. And I'm not a children's entertainer. Anything for this, right? The game actually is pretty damned addicting and good. In the last two years, I've basically completely reinvented myself as someone who, you know, is constantly interacting and doing things differently now than I used to. That being said, I played Minecraft last week during an indie stream for about 90 minutes. Here's the thing about Minecraft. First off, it's funny how this idiot who shitted on it and shitted on other people, on other YouTubers who made a lot of money off it, a lot of streamers who made a lot of money off it, he shitted on them then. But now, oh, all of a sudden, I see the light and I'm reinventing myself and everything's all good. No, this goes back to that same shit that I told you guys earlier in the year. That this is what Phil has done, and you see it, what Phil does with super popular games and whatnot that he doesn't want to look like he's a... Uh, What's the word? A hang-on, a straddler, someone who rides coattails, which is really all he does. What he does with games that are super popular like that, and like I said, I'll, I'll use um, Minecraft and I'll use, uh, sorry, Fortnite as my examples, is those games get popular. They get hot. He plays it for a little bit and then he falls away from it. Or he builds up anticipation, forces the fan base to pay him to play those games. He plays it for a little while and then he drops it. The reason why is this idiot wants to wants to hold on to this whole being the realest person on YouTube moniker, his little internet motto, if you will, um, so goddamn hard that he's willing to drop money, drop exposure, and drop a new experience just so it doesn't look like he's trying to ride a trend like everybody else. And he'll drop and he'll shit on it for years. You know what I'm saying? 
until the game starts to slowly start to fade. And then all of a sudden he'll jump in on it. Oh, I'm taking this step to try to reinvent myself. Oh, I had said all these things about it because people, other people told me about it, this, that, and the third. But now that I've actually tried it and, and whatnot, and I took in your guys' recommendation, now I see the light. Funny enough, though, that when people were... Uh, that you said that people told you that the game was for for kids or for Muppets or so on and so forth, and you went along with it, even though you've told your fan base before, quite a few times to be honest, that, hey, have your own mind. Think for yourself. Don't sit there and just take what everybody says, uh, says to you at face value. Do your own research, so on and so forth. S it's amazing how that's the case, but this cuck does the exact same goddamn thing. Whatever. Semantics. Detractor logic. So, now, he's playing Minecraft. Now, he thinks that it's just so goddamn successful and everybody really wants to come and see it. Now, let me explain to you what exactly happened because Tevin has already pointed this out. Praise me, almighty. But uh, let me go ahead and jump in on that for just a minute. What happened was is when he did his initial, what, what was it, that Indies Marathon stream or whatever the case may be, he started the game, the, the marathon off with um, Minecraft. And it had the most viewership because it was the first game in the marathon. People were going to come out to see it. Haters, trolls, detractors, and fan base and cult members alike. So that's why it had all the buzz. This isn't brain surgery. This is easy. You know what I'm saying? This isn't chess. This is checkers. So with that being said, he in his own head, and he did this on purpose, in his own head was like, oh shit, people really do give a shit about this Minecraft crap. And people really want to see me play it. And since they actually paid, essentially, they paid to have this indie marathon bullshit, well, fuck, I'm just going to go ahead and play it once a week now. Or however many times he says he's going to play it. I think he said the new thing is once a week. Uh, Yeah, it is. I need to do that video. And that was a scheme. And he's run with it ever since. Because Minecraft isn't really that bad. It's an interactive stream that he can sit there and actually kind of just fuck around with, have the chat tell him how to do stuff. That's the interaction part of it. And uh, you guys give him money. That's also part of the interaction part of it, too. But yet again, this is, a, this is something that's in this dude's own head. He put himself in this position. So And then he comes back later on and says, oh, well, it doesn't matter if I don't have a bunch of viewership. As long as the 100 or 200 of you are here, that's all I could ask for anyway. I wouldn't want any more than that. But if he had 1,000, he would expect more. He would want more. If he had 10,000 viewership, he'd want more than that. Seems a bit hypocritical, ain't it? But whatever. That's, that's what this cuck does. Let's continue. DSP News. People loved it paid advertisement basically being a influencer or a shill for a product or game means you can't say anything negative about it and i would never do that like can you imagine having that life just now think about that for a minute i've been wanting to address that for a while <laughs> so let's say any major publisher comes to me and is like hey gtg we'd like you to do a uh we'd like you to do a um a review of our game here okay sure no problem all right now here's the thing you know, be honest about the game, but don't be, but don't sit there and spew venom at it. Okay, fair enough. So I can be critical of it, just don't spew venom at it. Sure, no problem. I can do that. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? I can articulate myself in a way to doing that, and that's how it's done. With Phil, he's like, oh, I wouldn't be a sponsor. I wouldn't be a shill. I wouldn't be this, that, and the third because you can't say anything negative about the game. Why are you always looking at the negatives of the game? That's the first thing. Why are you always looking for the negatives and you're looking for a reason to tear everything down? That's the first part. Second part is, Phil, why would a company pay you money for you to shit on it, on their product? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's like if I went to, uh, that's like if me, Jackal's Lair, James the Lesser, Agent Proper, and Lightside Bill decided to go to a, um, let's say we go to a, uh, I don't know, a, a what a big Kahuna burger or what a burger whatnot while they're doing their test kitchen, and they they invite us over and whatnot to test out a couple of their new products or whatever. Okay, and let's say um, that on top of inviting us out, you know, flying us out from wherever we're from individually, and whatnot, giving us the hotel stay, doing this, that, and the third, and whatever, whatever. They're like, hey, we'll also compensate you guys too, you know, saying for your time on top of the travel and all that shit. Just tell us what you guys think. Okay, cool. If it's good, it's good. If it's not good, it's not good. But if it's not good, I can give you reasons why it's not good without saying, oh, 
this chicken sandwich is garbage because this is trash and this is trash and this is bullshit, which is all basically what DSP does on everything that he goes over. And it's, it's, it's trash. Get it out of here. I don't need to do that. I could easily be like, well, depending on if it's grilled or breaded or fried, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you just break it down on what was it you didn't like. You didn't like the texture. You didn't like how maybe there was a little bit too much grease on it when it came out. You Maybe you don't like the actual shape of the chicken breast itself. Or maybe it's not a, uh, a chicken breast. Maybe it's a patty. You know what I'm saying? You can break this shit down. It's very fucking easy. But Phil doesn't like to do that. He wants to go straight forward, right for the jugular. That's what he cares about. That's what he does. He does that with games that he likes. That's why you don't get sponsored, dumbass. Because everything you do in every every way that you have of approaching anything is in, is pointing out the negative first. Because Phil thinks that's what's being real is. It's pointing out the bad things about everything that goes on or everything that's associate, associated with someone or something or with a particular practice or etc, etc, etc. The irony, though, is this bitch wants to sit there and get mad when people do that shit to him, when people microanalyze him. And then he comes up with these fucking lame-ass excuses about, oh, well, I'm just a human. You know, oh, I got flaws, this, that, and the third, dude. But then he sits there and cries and complains about why he can't get sponsorship and blames it on the tractors, the haters, and the trolls because he doesn't have it. Yet again, if maybe if he changed himself, you know what I'm saying? If he looked at himself in the mirror and changed how he conducts himself and his behavior, maybe, just maybe, things would turn around for him. But he doesn't see it that way. So when it comes to video games, he immediately needs to point out the negative, and then he'll choose what he likes. That's not a positive. That's just what he likes. That's how he wants to conduct it. That's how he thinks game reviews and things like that should go. I don't know why he thinks that. He's an idiot, obviously. He doesn't talk to people. He doesn't interact with people. Even the people that he, he talks to every day in his chat are drones. So... What conclusion can he really come up to? What can he really add to the conversation, if anything? Those are the problems and those are the issues moving forward. And since he does, since he can't see it himself, he can't correct it. Since he can't correct it, everybody else is going to benefit but him. And yet, what does Phil do? He sits all the way in the back, crying and complaining about, oh, the reason why, the reason why they won't let me in is because I'm too real for them. You know what I'm saying? It's because I'm willing to tell the truth while those guys are willing to sell their souls and lie. Yet, when he did that um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, sponsored stream, he went ahead and, and sucked as much dick as allegedly as everybody else did. But the week before, he was shitting on that game. He was a shitting he was shitting on Assassin's Creed Odyssey all day the week before. But then the week that that sponsored stream came up, oh, he was he was on his knees like a good hoe. Like a real good hoe. And you didn't hear not a negative thing about it. Just saying. DSP News. Being a fucking paid shill your whole life. I mean, what the fuck, man? That would kill me. Shilling, 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 shilling. It's gross. People were like, wow, this is like one of the best things you've done in a long time. And people were being interactive and fun. They were helping me to figure out how to do stuff. And it basically turned into 90 minutes of really fun interactions. Give me your money. That I enjoyed a, mu a bunch, and I was like, man, if I were to do this maybe like once a week or, you know, every once in a while, this would be something really fun and f for, for the viewers as well as me, because this is a game that I never really delved into. Cash cow. So, let's see how it goes tonight. If we do this tonight, and I play for two, three hours, and it's boring, and no one likes it, and it ends up being a flop, meh, no skin off anyone's back, right? If the stream sucks, the stream sucks, and then we just don't do it anymore, right? We have plenty of other stuff to do. But hey, we'll do the stream tonight, we'll see how it goes. If it goes just as well as it did last week during the Indies Marathon, I really feel like this will be another opportunity for a variety of content, something I can do regularly on the streams, that's fun and chill, all right? It's not about the money. It's not. You know, just I mean, I'm going to be very honest with all of you. You guys know I love to be an honest guy, right? And, you know, I pride myself on being honest. I always have been. That's why a lot of people hate me, because I share so much information, and then they ended up twisting it against me and stuff. Uh, right now, I I'm a little down in the dark. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Uh, people hate you because you're real, and you share so much information about yourself, and they turn around and use it against you, and that's why they hate you. Huh? So somebody smell ham cooking? I smell ham cooking. I'm, I'm smelling ham. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first off and foremost, 
and I've said this before and I'll say it again. The only reason why he shared aspects of his life, actually his whole life, is because he was profiting off of it. That's how Phil looks at the world. And or that's how he did look at the world. That the more that you can content you can get out there as quickly as possible, the more people tend to like you and and more, what's more important to Phil is people will care about you. Okay, I guess. I guess family and friends are just not enough. Whatever. All right. Based off that and off and based off that as a small aspect of what the general situation is. He that's what he thinks his fan base really encompasses. A bunch of people who don't just like him and his content, but care about him. And that's where all this begging and pleading and all this nonsense comes from. Tevin had pointed it out recently that he's been basically wanting people to carry him and support him since 2011. Whether it's you're begging for likes, whether you're begging for clicks on ads and so on and so forth, to actually working up to physical money. It, it was a progression. To be honest with you, he's been doing that for the majority of his career ever since, as my almighty seven said, praise be almighty, ever since money became a factor into this equation. He's not a self-made man. He's always depended on someone to do something for him, especially once money came in. That's why he exploited Panda. That's why he exploited John and Howard. That's why he was exploiting tournament, uh, different tournaments, tournaments he were going to, he was going to and tournament footage that wasn't really his. So on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Now, and it's kind of ironic because if you think about it, that practice on Phil basically stealing footage, if you want to call it stealing, um, has has basically given way to other channels that do that now. I wouldn't say they steal footage, though. They usually, they usually these people go to the tournaments and they usually talk to the organizer or whatever. Hey, can I capture footage? Can I capture certain matches? And so on and so forth. And they're like, sure, whatever. But there's usually a time thing. Like, okay, well, let us get our footage up, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot, and then you guys make your shit happen. And there's still controversy about that even up till now, but there are certain channels that do that, and those are channels I watch, so don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting on them. It is what it is. You could say Phil kind of was one of the front runners of something like that, except for Phil was just blatantly taking that footage, posting it on his channel as quickly as possible, getting the views and everything to cover his trip. And to, in turn, cover his trips moving forward. That's what, basically, uh, DSP Street Fighter was going to be. It was a nice little lick that he had until people started getting upset at him. And that's why he got so cozy with Team Spooky and whatnot, in my personal opinion. He was using them just for footage. He was using them because, oh, if he's associated with Team Spook Spooky, oh, well, he's got a camera in his hand. Well, it's all right. That's what those guys do. And nobody ever thought anything of it until people started to realize that, Dude, why is such and such match up already and these guys haven't even put it on their channel yet? Now, keep in mind, back then, most of those guys weren't even thinking about doing that yet. They weren't thinking about posting it up to YouTube or whatnot. And that's where Phil's angle was. Oh, okay, I can beat them to it. I'll just go ahead and mix that up with my little vlogs and no one will think anything of it. And for a while, he got away with it until people got hip to the scheme. To the scheme. They say that's one of, the ask one of the reasons why he doesn't go to tournaments no more. People figured out what he was doing, and they asked him to stop. He got hostile. They got hostile back. He bitched out. That's a legend, of course. But that's what Phil is. He's a parasite. He uses anything and everything. And interestingly enough, unlike unlike I, I would say, <laughs> let's say unlike most parasites, he well like most parasites to be honest with you, or hang or hang arounds or whatever. They want recognition themselves too. He needs it more than anything. Just my opinion, though. Do you speak this? Um, you know, and the reason being that it's not, no, it's not the holiday blues. It's basically, you know, everything going on with me. All the, the drama and shit and people basically talking shit about me constantly and making stuff up about me and making me say, oh, well, he said this and meant this. No, I didn't say or mean any of that. It just brings me real, it brings me down, man. It does. And, you know, as I've told you guys, people basically been messing with me behind the scenes for weeks. Uh, ever since I kind of revealed that I needed your help. In regards to financial stuff coming up. Give me money, money. And I basically just came into another situation where there was someone who uh, I had been talking with them for a while now. And they had said that they were a supporter. 
They had said that they were looking to help me. In fact, this was a situation where, with all in light of every, all the other crap that had been going on, I told this person, listen, if you are thinking of donating, which you say you are, this is something that has to be public. I'm going to tell people about it. I'm not going to reveal your name if you want to be anonymous, but I'm going to tell people the mo moment that it happens that you did it so that there's full disclosure and everyone understands and everything, and the person's like, yeah, that's fine, and all of that. Look at how scared he is. Look at how scared he is after that whole $9,000 situation. Now look at him. Now he has to be fully transparent. Now uh, I can't pull no slick shit no more because he's scared. He's scared to death that that shit's going to fall back on him on Twitch. He don't make wrong, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't give a fuck about his public image, at least not as a con as it's con <laughs> not as it's concerned to this. Sorry, it's early. Um, he doesn't give a shit about his public image. That's that's an afterthought. He picks and chooses when that stuff means something to him. What he didn't like is he felt what, what the the problem really is is he feels like he was taken advantage of. He felt like his time was wasted because they play. Excuse me, because they played upon the belief that he was going to get this money. Because he really believed that they cared about him. That's what it comes down to. That's where the emotional aspect is. If someone came up, to, and for example, if someone came up and was like, uh, that's when I start streaming, eventually I will. <laughs> um, and someone's like, uh, hey GTG man, I, I love your content dude. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to send you $20 the next time you're streaming. Okay, cool. I appreciate it, but if that person does, he does, or his or her. If she does, she does, she don't, she don't. It's the internet. And it's not, I'm not saying it's the internet because it's the internet. It's the internet because people forget, man. People have lives. People got shit to do, man. At the end of the day, that $20 might mean something, might, need, might mean something, or might need to go somewhere else. I'm someone who will advocate to you, dude. Before you consider donating to anybody, make sure that you're straight. Make sure you're all right. Make sure you have everything, uh, all your ducks in a row, if you will. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you this with the the, the greatest amount of confidence that I can muster, and uh, as you know, that's a lot, <laughs> is that um, you can never have too many zeros in your bank account, ever. Saving money never goes out of style. Now, that doesn't, I'm not saying don't contribute to people who you like, who you support, who you respect, who have helped you through times or who helps you through your daily stuff. I'm not saying that at all. By all means, if that's how you feel, by all means, do it. But don't put yourself in the hole, you know what I'm saying, to help someone else out, especially someone who you respect. Because if that person respected you, if that person that you respect respected you in return, they wouldn't want to see you in a bad spot just to help them out. That's just to be honest with you. That's just decent. That's being a decent individual, Phil. Not coming in day in, day out and wanting people to literally cover everything that you do. Because that's the scheme at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this man has been working his way towards since probably 2011. He wants all of his expenses to be covered by his fans and everything that he gets from Twitch directly, meaning from ads and all that shit, and everything that he makes from YouTube, ads and all that bullshit. And Patreon, you know, suckers who give him even more money, those three belong to him. That, that allows him to do what he wants. But for everybody else, you guys need to pay the rest of his expenses month in, month out. That's what the plan is. Because this cuck thinks that's what other YouTubers and big streamers do. He thinks that they basically break up their income in, such, in so, so many ways that, oh, this right here is what the fan base gives them and that's how they pay their bills. But the rest of that stuff that they actually earn, well, they actually earn that and that's theirs. That's what he really thinks. He's not man enough to say it because even in his own head, he can't articulate it like that. But that's really what he wants. I guarantee it. He'll let it slip one day. But that's what he's, that's what he's actually going towards. At least that's my personal opinion anyway. DSP News. Yeah. Um... And basically, you know, last night, but this person was actually a, a, apparently not only just someone who wanted to donate, but was a fan of mine and said, well, I would love to donate and help you, but could I have one of your statues? Okay. And I was like, listen, those statues are just sitting in there doing nothing. I've tried to sell them. I can't sell them. No one in this area is interested. So yeah, absolutely. If you were interested in, you know, getting one of my statues or whatever, sure. Why not? Yeah, you know, oh right? boy. That's that $6,000 situation. Uh Oh, that's that. That's that. That's that new hotness. Not that, and understand this wouldn't be a purchase or a transaction. This would be you donate, and then I would just send you a statue basically saying thank you. You know, it would not be a purchase of a statue or anything like that. 
And they were like, okay, so can you take some pictures of a few of the statues or whatever? No, wait a second. Isn't that still breaking TOS? Because you're asking these people to give you money through this platform, and in turn, you're giving them something back? You're giving them a physical item back? Isn't that not breaking TOS? Because he's trying to... So he's actually doing it wrong, isn't he? Shouldn't he be saying, this is a purchase? You guys are... You're buying... Uh, you're paying X amount of money and in turn I'm giving you, I'm getting ready to sell you this product instead of it being basically he's trying to run it through, run it as a transaction through Twitch when instead he should be making this more of a peer to peer type thing. I might be overthinking it, but either way, either which way, he's still doing it backwards. He's still doing it wrong. Twitch isn't going to hit him and that's probably why he's doing it. But by far, he's definitely breaking, he's definitely breaking some rules doing it this way. Uh, but because I'm interested in, like, these few, do you still have them? And I, This has been a conversation I've had with this person for, like, over a week, going back and forth. This was going on all during the time of the drama of the other guy who claimed he was going to contribute and all of that. And so, basically, I, I did a lot, okay? I did. And you're getting all this information. And took, sent pictures and everything. And then, finally, last night, I was kind of like, well, you know, we've not been talking for over a week. And... You know, is it, are you for real about this or not? Because you keep saying you're, that you ha you were going to donate and, you know, nothing has come through. You said it was coming. And, I you know, you keep going back and forth, back and forth. And I said, basically, I get the feeling that you're kind of trolling me, just like everybody else. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Please. Are you the man? Por favor. It's muy importante. And so if that is the case, then just let this be our last communication because, I you know, I don't have time to waste on this shit. You know, I'm just trying to be positive and, and, you know, hopeful. But when I get people who are just keep dragging me along and wasting my time, you know what I mean? Um, then just stop. And that was last night. And so far today, I've heard nothing. I get the feeling it was. It was someone who was basically just screwing with me yet again uh, and wasting my time. And it sucks because it is significant time wasted, you know, when I could have been doing other stuff. But you don't know who's real and who's not. You know, you don't. You, there's no way to tell who's legitimate and who actually wants to help. I, at this point, I'm almost to the point. All right, where I feel like if someone actually wanted to help, they just would. They would come to stream and they would tip me, right? They would just come to stream and do it. It wouldn't be, oh, behind the scenes, I want to talk with you for a week about it and hash out details and the possibility of this or that, you know. And it's certainly not to say that it well, was... Well, it's because he's not giving you something. It's it's not. It's because he's not contributing to you, contributing to you, like, like the average, here, here you go, Phil. Here's, here's 10 bucks to help you with this, or here's $24 to help you with this overdraft, or whatever, whatever. He wants something for his money, which, yet again, has to go through against TOS. So that's the reason why he was doing it behind the scenes and hashing out. But more importantly than that, and I want you guys to think about this for just a second, ladies and gentlemen, because I understand the, the aspect of human greed, right? I get it. We're all greedy for something, all right? And uh, that's why I really like this series called American Greed. You should check it out. Um, I think it's on MSNBC, but you can watch it on YouTube also. So I understand the as the aspect of human greed, so, or at least to an extent, I should say. Now, $6,000 is quite a bit of money, which is the situation he's talking about, which now that I think about that, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be another video within this broadcast. So that's cool. But um, I so I understand that. I understand that it's $6,000. But when does self-dignity kind of fall into this? This man was getting dragged along, and I use man loosely, pig. This pig was being dragged along for over a week and nothing's happening. The individual is asking him to do more and more stuff and he's not and Phil's not getting everything out of it. Anything out of it, I'm sorry. So day by day by day, he's just getting dragged along and he has no choice to go with it because he thinks that that $6,000 is going to be at the end of the road. It's going to be, it's essentially the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And slowly but surely, it start that rainbow starting to fade. And as it starts to fade, Phil's hope is starting to drop. But you carried this along for over a week, bruh? You telling me after a couple of days you weren't a bit suspicious? Oh, or was it that you put this guy off for a certain amount of time trying to chase other people to get money? And then when you got around to him, you started to focus on him because you saw exactly how much money he was looking to offer you. I don't know, Phil. I, I don't know. Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up, stuffy right now. I don't smell no bacon cooking. I don't smell no bacon cooking. And with that being said, that's the reason why you got played. 
It's funny how this individual who has, who's a former valedictorian, Victorian, who says he's not stupid, consistently does stupid shit, and I question your, <laughs> I question exactly how smart you are because of how you conduct yourself. If this is an act, right, this is by far one of the greatest acts ever. But if it's not, it's stupidity on a level that makes no sense. You're allowing yourself to be victimized while believing, while believing you're actually in control. Imagine that. DSP News. Situation where, you know, oh, it was horrible. You know, it's not like anything could have been used against me. I didn't give any personal info. And like I said, this happened during the whole situation with the other guy who was faking it. So I told this person right up front, listen, no, understand, if you're going to do this, this has to be something I make public immediately when you do it. I will let everyone know that you did so that everyone's aware that I got this donation and it was generous and it helps out or whatever. Um, and it's just disheartening because, you know, you get hopeful. You do. And then nothing happened. He doesn't really have depression. He's trying to do that to get sympathy. You know, and then at the same time as all that, all right, without getting into any specifics, uh, at the same time, I, I told you guys for the past few days how bad financially things have been for me, and they are. Like, right now, I have no money. My, my bank account got overdrawn overnight. You created the monster. You unleashed the monster. And now your complaint is, well, the monster's too powerful to control. Well, fuck you. That's your fault. And I don't have any money to put into it. And it's stuck like this for several days until Twitch pays me. All the money you guys have sent me via tips and stuff already went towards it, and it wasn't enough. It's just a shitty situation, you know? And it just sucks because there's nothing I can do to fix it or control it right now. You know. Nice way to shit on the fan base. Hey, guys, all the money that you guys contributed to me, all that money that you sent to me to try to help me out, man, and, all you know, how you guys were really thinking you were doing something, y'all didn't do shit. It wasn't enough. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, didn't, you, you guys didn't send enough. You guys might want to step your game up next time around. You think, you think about contributing to Dark Side Phil. Motherfucker's got bills to pay, ladies and gentlemen. He's got real problems, grown-up problems. Problems that you guys ain't know shit about. Go and talk to your parents <laughs> and ask them about how the real world wor the real world works. And you'll see how this shit works, bro. But psh, for everything else, there's Dark Side Phil. And you didn't give enough. So now I'm in even more trouble. Because of you jerks. <laughs> wow, Phil. Oh, can you be any more ungrateful? No, like, it's just out of my control. And... I hate that feeling. That feeling of shit is out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. And, you know, next year I know things are going to have to change. Whether it's through some miracle. No, that's not how life works. That somehow I afford everything coming up. Or the fact that I have to sell my house. Something has to change next year. And it just really, 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 really sucks that this is all looming on me during the holiday season of all times. You know what I mean? It sucks. I don't want this to be on my fucking mind, but it is. So the reason I'm bringing this up is, guys, you know, today if I'm playing Smash and all of a sudden I lose it and I start freaking out and acting like an asshole, understand that it's not because of you, and more than likely it's not because of the game, it's because of all this other stuff that's kind of behind me in the, in the back of my fucking head. I'm so mentally fucked in my head. I'm just losing my mind. There's still this back here. You, you know, pills absolutely help, but they don't cure these kind of issues. They just help to mitigate. And here's, a, here's another thing I wanted to point out. <laughs> Phil, why do you think... Why do you think that they haven't found a cure for some of these things? Did they cure Panda when she went into, uh, when she went to the emergency room for depression? No, not depression. Exa for that anxiety attack? Do you feel that that thing is so minuscule that there should be a pill that you can pop that automatically takes care of that? Do you think that depression... Is so minuscule that it, they need to have a pill that goes ahead and handles that shit? That goes ahead and makes that shit go away? Is that what your thought is? Do you think that there's somehow in some fucking backwater country and shit that the cure for cancer is out there and we haven't found it yet? It might be, but just roll with what I'm saying. There isn't a quick fix to anything in life, Phil. There really isn't. Not without a level of effort. Because if everything was easy, it wouldn't be worth doing. Now, I don't know if that's just what people like yourself think. I don't know. Because <laughs> in my research on these thoughts on Twitch, you guys all say some kind of just retarded shit. I'm sorry. It's just It just sounds stupid. Some of the shit that you guys say. And whatnot. And it's funny, Phil, because you shit on these thoughts, right? But yet, you talk just like a thought. 
you say some of the same dumb shit that thoughts say. So I'm wondering if there's some type of correlation with that with when getting free money for over long periods of time, especially large amounts of money, does that kind of do something to your brain for whatever reason? Not sure yet. Uh, we're, we're still doing research on it. Matter of fact, after my holiday break and I have to go back to the DIA, you know, because you know, I got stuff that I need to do over there, Phil. I'll go to the research department and we'll see what we can figure out when it comes to that. Shouts out to Agent Proper. But uh, you sound like a thought. And you guys have these ridiculous expectations on how you think the world should work and how you think human behavior is dictated and the concept that, oh, if you have a shitload of money, you should be the happiest person in the world. Like, money doesn't do that. And here, let me give you a firm example. I've done it before. If, take this however you want to take it, take it but I'm going to be blunt. If you were a piece of shit when you were down and out and broke and living day to day, for example, I'm not saying that you're a piece of shit if you live day to day, but I'm saying if you were down and out, if you were, you know, living paycheck to paycheck and you're a piece of shit of an individual, not because of those things, but because of that's how, <clears throat> that's your character, that's your behavior, that's how you conduct yourself, you winning $100 million doesn't change that. It just makes you an even more entitled piece of shit. Instead of you having the money that you've always wanted, now you want the respect and the prestige and everything to come with it. And nobody gives a fuck. Not at all. Just the people around you who are piece of shits like you and who want a piece. That's pretty much it. Friendship, de human decency, all that stuff is not is not equated. It is not dependent on the amount of money that's in your wallet or the amount of money that's in your bank account. If someone only looks at you for that, then they don't give a shit about you. And that shouldn't be hard to tell. But see, people like Phil, that is he's that type of person. He only gives a shit about what you can do for him. What type of monetary value you can provide him and nothing else. He doesn't give a shit about anything else. So if you go past the whole, he's a fucking shitty let's player, this, that, and the third, and you get into what his human aspect is, you start cutting into his humanity, into that type of fiber, then you find out what he, then you can actually see what he really is. And I think... When a lot of people come and say, why do you guys shit on this guy? He's just this, that, and the third. You're comfortable with not having to look at him for what he really is. Because, and, and this is just a theory, of course. But I find that, or I'm, I'm, I'm theorizing that some people see aspects of Phil, of Phil and they don't want to address it. Or what they see in Phil, or they see Phil and they're actually kind of scared because they, um, they can see some of those same traits. Not all of them, but some of them. And it's much easier to go ahead and ignore a problem or ignore an issue or to even have just something to say about it than to actually address the situation at hand. It's always easier to attack the person who brings up that there's a problem or points out the problem than addressing the problem itself. Because it's, and this is something that I think is just linked to human nature in general. When you see a problem, people generally want to solve it. But I can't solve all those problems. I just have an opinion on it. And you can have an opinion on that if you want. That's cool. No problem. But at the end of the day, what does any of that do? None of that really means anything at the end of the day. But you coming in here and shitting on a detractor or a hater or a troll for what they say or for whatever video they put out. When you yourself, <laughs> when you yourself are linked to to Phil's behavior in some way, shape, or form because maybe you see some of that in yourself. You're not making the situation any better. All you're doing is allowing people like Phil to keep moving. And that, and that, that right there is what? He's not going to learn anything if we just keep straddling him along. This, con this misconception that, oh, the tra detractors hate Phil and that's why they go at him. We're all a bunch of individuals who have an opinion on him. Since when is that hate? I got my fucking critics. I got fucking opinions on LeBron James. I don't hate Le LeBron James. I hate how he. Well, I don't hate him. I dislike how he. I dislike how he moves at times. I dislike some of the the uh, the moves that he makes because it makes it harder on himself. But it's whatever. I can say that about Jordan too. It's sure I can say this shit about Kobe. Shit, I damn sure don't like what Kobe did with um with him and Shaq. If they had just if they would have put the egos to the sides. Right? And kept moving. That's six rings. That could have been... Well, it could have been six rings. It could have been. It is what it is. 
know what I'm saying? And then after those six rings, and you guys want to go your separate ways to other teams and chase other titles and shit, fine. But while you have a good thing going, you should have went ahead and kept going with it. But you guys want to let Ego get into into the position. But we'll talk about that for a whole nother shit. I'm not trying to get into that now. I apologize. I'm going off on a bit of a rant. But that's my general feeling and whatnot. And I'm not saying that's the that's the cause behind, behind every comment that people say, why do you do fil- videos on Phil? I'm not saying that's the case with everybody. But with most of y'all who do these drawn out type of analysis, <laughs> analysis of shit, and none of that is concerned at all with the subject matter at hand, but you just want to go ahead and address that to the detractor, the hater, the troll. If you have a whole lot of time to go ahead and put that under the microscope, that individual under the microscope, then why can't you take a few minutes to look at Phil? Because you're going to see something you don't like, if I had to guess. And yet again, you're wel- you're more than welcome to say whatever you have to say in my comment section. By all means, do it. That's why it's there. Because at the end of the day... When I punch out, I punch out. Phil can't say that. Phil has to live this. And Phil has to deal with every comment that comes up that he has to ban that it doesn't uh, coddle him in some way, shape, or form. I don't need to think that I'm better than Phil. I am better than Phil. I don't need to spew that. I know that. Phil can't say that. These penis to keep it under wraps you know like i said like sometimes it's the guy in the shoulder like i mentioned so maybe that guy in the shoulder goes away for a couple days but he's gonna come back but at least he's gone for a couple days right okay um and it's bothering the shit out of me it is like you know i just don't know what else to do and i apologize i do i apologize to unload but i just want to let you guys i feel it makes more sense for me to do this now so now if, if i end up Losing my cool during the stream over something that seems stupid. Like, why is Phil so upset right now? It has nothing to do with that. It's more of the shit going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? So just understand that, okay? It's not you guys. And it's not the stream. It's not the games. If anything, you know, I think the streams have been great. The Smash streams, you guys have been coming out for them, hanging out with me, contributing. Everything's been good. It's just that there's other stuff behind the scenes that I can't do anything about that's been fucking with my head. And, you know, I don't want you to feel like, oh my god, why is Phil so angry at us or whatever? It's not. It has nothing to do with you or nothing. I'm going to do my best to keep it under wraps, but... You know, I feel like I have to say up front to be just to be responsible, just in case I, you know, my anger explodes. Uh, go, 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 go to? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my oh, god, here's the another one. Thing. How's the gout, the Phil? Oh. <laughs> another idiot. This is How's the gout? How's the gout? Who was it? Say it again. No, say it again. Say, how's that gout? Go ahead. How's this the other way? Come on, say it again. Man, you're so dumb, I know you'll say it again. Say it. Say, how's that gout? So with the gout, how's your daughter? <laughs> the gout. He's still saying it. How's the gout? 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 Give me a cracker. Now here's the thing, right? If he doesn't let the haters and trolls get the best of him, right? Look at that, and we've all seen this, this sequence because Norbert puts it in there every once in a while. Look at how long he entertained that. Look at how long he ch- he tried to chase that down to feel like, just so he could have the last word, so he could have control, so he could be the one to be like, ha, 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 ha. Look at how long he, he sat there and entertained that when he could have just moved on into another lobby or something or recreated a new lobby or whatever the case may be. He didn't have to sit there and stand for that. But he thought if he stood his ground, it wouldn't make him look weak. But then, and then he threw insults at him to try to give him the bite. And the guy sat there and just played cat and mouse with him. Which has made him look more pathetic <laughs> as it continued to carry on. Now keep in mind, this whole sequence is what? 45 seconds, maybe a minute? A little more, a little less? But that right there is a strong telling. <laughs> it's a strong telling of what kind of individual DSP is. And not just him, other people too. Other people, too, who sit there and base all of their self-worth off this internet thing. And that's because he's done it too long. He's done it way too long. And he took it... He may have taken his own self-worth online way more seriously than he actually... Than his self-worth in real life. Hence the reason why he doesn't take care of himself. Just my opinion, though. DSP News. 
I guess Gota. Um, oh, it's a troll. It's an annoying troll. I hate that. So, so okay. This guy is so lame. All right. He basically here comes the rant. Basically tried to make a, a, a name that said gout, but he spelled it in such a bad way. There's no way that I would have pronounced that word as gout. G O W W T U H. How would I pronounce that as gout? That's like gota or gowawutu or oh my god. <laughs> It's just like the worst attempt at trolling possible. Not even worth. Oh my god. It's embarrassing. Alright, so anyway. What a complete idiot. First of all, DSP T Post Counter tipped me 10 bucks at the end of the last stream. And he said, Here's a tip for your amazing Smash stream. Happy holidays. Thank you very much, DSP T Post Counter. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, DSP T Post Counter is our latest mod. He's become a trial mod. He's going to see how he does over the next couple of weeks. <gasps> oh my god. Um. You know, he stepped up to the plate and volunteered his time and efforts, and I said thank you very much because we need it right now. We really do. We need more support. Save the pig the game. Did 100-bit cheers. I'm mad as hell. I'm not going to take it anymore. You got to do something about the losers who keep accosting you. I don't know what you mean. No one's physically accosting me because if they did, they'd be in jail. But if you mean people harassing me on the internet, yeah, that's pretty much par for the course, right? <laughs> ben Boxer did 50-bit cheers. Have you prepared for the worst-case scenario of having to sell the house? I mean... Do you prepare for it? No. What I have to see is what happens between now and April. And if I can't pay the taxes, then basically the only way I'll be able to pay them is to sell the house. So then I prepare for it, and basically I sell well, the that's house. why he's saying, "Are you prepared for it?" You need to have an i. You need to have a, an action plan in place if that comes about, instead of waiting until it happens to actually do something. Because it's too late to plan it out then. It's too late when you have to exit the house and you have to sell it to come up with a plan on how to sell it. You should do that now, and it'll help set the realization on what your situation is. You can look at your options. But see, Phil doesn't want to do that, because Phil doesn't want to... Because in Phil's head, it's either A, too much effort, B, he doesn't have someone to do it for him, or C, he doesn't want to live with the realization that this is really going to happen. That's why he doesn't like to face his problems. If he doesn't face them right away, then there is no problem. So what this idiot does is he waits until... The problem itself becomes a big problem and then try to address it and then it all blows up in his face. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I was during the course of the year. Yes, I'll owe the money and I'll just tell the government, sorry, I don't have it. I have to sell my house. So you'll wait for it, but I'll give it to you. And then we go from there. You know, it sucks, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a miracle. I'm hoping that something's going to happen, whether somehow I make more money. Or we get some generous parties, or something happens here that at least I can get through. Because if I can get through this year coming up, then I'll have two years of tax returns uh, to show how much money I've actually made an increase of money. Because ever since I started becoming a full-time live streamer, I'm making more money than I was when I was a YouTuber for those few years there when YouTube was on the down and down. Uh, and I can show this income, and maybe I'll qualify for that refinance that I wanted to do. The problem is right now I don't have two years of tax returns. But let's not make the whole stream about that tonight, Ben Boxer, please. Um, we're not there yet. I mean, it's, it's possible we may be, but let's not get there yet, okay? I didn't even have time to shave and shower. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. no, that's disgusting. That is d really nasty. Like, that's how my days have been around here. I get up. I see Cat for, like, 30, 40 minutes before I stream. So I have time just to brush, brush my teeth, you know, maybe have some have a glass of orange juice, do stuff downstairs quick. I'm up here, I'm streaming, right? I see Kat again during my break for like 10, 15 minutes tops. Usually she's getting ready for work at that point, so I don't even get to really do much of her because she's busy. Um, I stream more. After the stream, I'm downstairs immediately either eating or making a meal. Today I made a salad and a, and a thing, a cup of... Um, where Kat and I had gone to this Asian market that... All right, before we get into that story. So you wake up and you only have 40 minutes until you, you have time to stream and you only have a little bit of time to interact with Kat. So get your ass up early. Stop drinking so much at night and get your ass up early. Second thing, you got 40 minutes. You're telling me you can't get up, brush your teeth, shave, and shower in 20 minutes. 25 minutes, I guess. Because his shaving is, is off at times anyway. So let's say 20, So let's say, let's say 30 minutes. Let's say 30 minutes. You can't do that for 30 minutes. Go downstairs, chat it up with, with, uh, with Kat, have, a, have, a, have some juice. Ask her to make you a cup of coffee or whatever. Grab your energy drinks and head back upstairs. 
Because if she's up and she's roundabout, then I would assume she's doing her maidly duties. So what exactly do you need to do? What do you need to instruct her on to do at that point? Just, just, just saying. And then you say you take a break, cat's usually getting ready for work, and then you have to rush downstairs later on during the, the rest period between both of your streams to make a salad? How long does it take to make a salad? More importantly than that, she's the maid, so why didn't she set up the salad for you into a bowl or into a container or whatever the case may be, put some plastic wrap on it or a container lid and put it back in the refrigerator? So all you got to do is come downstairs, throw some dressing on it, and keep it moving. I don't know. It seems like you guys are playing the game backwards. I don't get it. I don't know what it's like to have a maid, but I like to think I have an understanding of what a maid does, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's basically an Asian supermarket, and they have a lot of, of things that normally you wouldn't find in a normal supermarket. So you go to a normal supermarket, and you get a freaking, like, instant noodles cup of ramen. It's disgusting. It's like pure salt. It tastes like shit. It's terrible. You go to, like, an actual Asian market, they have, like, aisles of this stuff. And it's all, like, good quality. Fast food, fast food, right? Uh, imagine that. Going to an, an Asian restaurant, or no, an Asian store, and them having aisles upon aisles of Asian-centric food. It's an interesting concept. Who I, I, I wouldn't have known. I, I, I had no clue. I mean, whenever I go to uh, my Asian store, yeah, I, I go there for a bunch of things that I, I didn't know that they were actually Asian-oriented. I just thought that this was just a really good place to go and get them. I mean, I just like the atmosphere. I didn't really real. I didn't realize that, <laughs> that these people were linked to the product that they were selling, because uh, that's why I went to an actual ethnic store instead of actually going to my local Publix or whatever. I, he got me beat. He, he's got me beat. Ladies and gentlemen, depression is caused by eating fast food. Didn't you know that? Well, we won. Good Star Trek shit. feels a stupid, apparently ugly, jobless, narcissistic, egotistical man child who pays <laughs> people's money just by sitting on his fat there we ass, go. sucking a view against 24/7 and will never adapt to a professional level Listen in to gaming. This guy. Do not donate to this loser. He only <laughs> uses good money just to buy fast food, making his fans oh, I buy pay fast for his food. own bills and keeps most of his unearned. Blah, 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 Okay. Now back to the game. I use my money to buy fast food. That's interesting. As you know, fast food is very expensive these days. <laughs> you go and get it, you're like, what the hell? Look at all the flavors they have available. Ten different kinds of noodles. Instead, you know, you think instant ramen is just one kind of noodle. No, there's like 20 kinds. Made of everything. You get rice, udon, regular, you know, regular uh, different flavors. Like crazy. So, I had a cup it was a big cup it wasn't like a regular cup it was like a big almost like a bowl of this asian style ramen <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i had a cup i had a cup i had a big cup it's a big cup i mean it's a bowl like <laughs> he's trying so hard and and tevin has pointed this out praise be all money he tr when it when he, when it comes to food he tries very very hard to emphasize what the portion of it is so it doesn't seem like it's a lot so it doesn't make him seem like the fat slob that everybody says he is Th like that right there shouldn't have been an issue hey we went over to this we went to this asian market I, um, we picked up a couple of packets of udon noodles and whatnot and i was able to make a bowl of noodles yeah that's that's it what was so hard about that phil it shouldn't have been any more difficult than that but you had to sit there and go, oh, it was a cup, and it, then it was, a, it was a large cup, then it was a, it was a bowl, it was a bowl of new, like, why did it have to even go there? <laughs> this is what happens when you put your whole life on the internet. This is what happens when you depend on what people think of you so much that you're scared to, ha you're scared to actually talk. You're scared to talk. Everything that you say has to be thought out in advance because you're scared everybody's going to use things against you because you've lied so much and you're continuing to lie. That's what it's like to be Dark Side Phil or an aspect of Dark Side Phil. Amazing. Let's continue. Are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know too all too well, gout. Um, 
I learned the hard way, okay? Now what ended up happening was, I ended up getting an acid level. We're gonna actually uh, do that for a gout and wine. We're gonna go over <laughs> his gout video, which is absolutely hilarious. That'll probably be in the beginning of the year. So you probably, we probably won't do another gout and wine or a wine and doubt until the beginning of the year. <clears throat> but that's gonna be one of them also. And uh, the Leanna um, emergency video, cause that needs to happen. That needs to happen. I need to cut into that video. For sure, for sure. Yum, yum, yum. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Uh, uh, imbalance back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. With a side salad, side Caesar salad. So I had to make that for myself because Kat was already at work, so I had to make my own dinner. So I did that, had to wash dishes, clean up and everything after that. How hard is it? Mm, okay, I'm not gonna address that. How hard? Is, how long does it take to make noodles? Minutes. <laughs> how long does it take to put a salad together? Minutes. <laughs> what the fuck? He's oh, he's so sad. He really is. And next thing you know, I had to get back to stream. I'm like, damn, I didn't have like a moment to myself to relax at all. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Do you know there's like a guy in uh? Our group right now who's like streaming this whole thing he's sort of like semi-famous oh yeah i think that's fuck said phil he I'm was the guy that got caught for masturbating in front of children yeah, yeah that's so he, he was caught masturbating i think he's like 35 <laughs> years old oh my god yeah, he was masturbating in front of children that's on right. youtube yeah. live stream hilarious but since last stream i've just been go 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 so, thank God, now I get a moment to myself. Now, I, I say a moment to myself, it's not really, it's a moment to hang out with you guys. But, I just like that we're not, we're not doing a narrative-based playthrough where I have to be hyper-focused on the gameplay and hyper-focused on a story. I can just lean back and mine a bit and, you know, craft a bit. And yeah, we have to worry about the monsters and stuff, but it's, you know what I mean? It's not like, so freaking intense that we have to 100% be paying attention to every little thing in the game at every moment. It's, it's gonna be a more relaxing night, I get the feeling. So. Absolutely too million dollars, just can I ever forgive Third Eye? He made your streams more enjoyable. You mean Third Eye, the guy who went outside of my streams to other streamers, tipped them, and said nasty things about me and or told me? You mean he snitched on you. <laughs> so that's what Phil wants to say, he snitched on you. And he did the right thing. Them th things that I did that I didn't do to get them to talk about me on their streams, basically to cause drama. You need Third Eye who made a fucking Christmas overlay that was full of- Look at him, bitching at snitches. That's a shame. For shame, sir. For shame. The tractor memes in it, then lied to me and said that he didn't, when in reality he did. Like, why would I ever let that fucking guy back? The guy is a piece of crap. The guy You lie every day, Phil. What's the problem? And then who else is gonna make your overlays? Not Popsicolo. Popsicolo apparently is streaming on his own. I hear his streams are actually pretty good. I haven't actually watched them. But I hear they're pretty good. And people are starting to say that he should really focus on his own streams. That, you know, they're actually pretty good streams. So you can't expect Popsicola to go ahead and pick up the, the work for Third Eye to Third. You better ask for him to come back. Literally was just trying to t talk shit about me constantly in every way, shape, or form and was hiding his intentions because he was a coward. So, no, you can't come back. <laughs> what pasta do you prefer? I prefer... <laughs> Snorper knows right. Money can fix that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into the second video. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> All right, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was. All right, before we get into the new video, what do we take from the old one? Or from the last one, I'm sorry. Um, yet again, he's doing everything to protect what little bit of... of uh, <laughs> what little bit of an ego he has left. Him getting exposed conformed him to moving in a different way. And this is something that I've been saying since I, I first started doing these videos that... The moment a detractor, a hater, and troll, or troll, can dictate how you move, you've lost. 
Because now he's scared to make a move on his own now. He's, he already put himself into a box. And now you have everybody just cutting away at that box. And he, has, and he can't do anything. He's too scared to come out. And all he's doing is moving to different corners within that box. As that box is slowly but surely being shaved away. He did it to himself. And it's absolutely amazing. And he'll have no one to blame for it at the end of the day but himself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into the next broadcast. Uh, <laughs> positive hypocrisy, troll invoice, and products for and products for money. Yet again, brought to us by Snorpinel. And uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. Um, initially, I was going to combo this video with Almighty Tevin's video. I'm going to probably do that Almighty Tevin video later on. Uh, hopefully before the end of the year. If not, it'll be... We'll just do it at the beginning of next year, but we will go over it. But uh, let me just go ahead and just do the uh, Snorpinel uh, version of it because this video is already, well, you guys like long videos. At least some of you do. So let's, let's go ahead and just get into it. But yeah, that's we'll go over the Almighty Tevin version of it later on. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, a little bit of backstory. I'm sure you guys already know at this point. So um, <laughs> the individual he was talking about in the last broadcast, uh, it turned out to be a massive troll. Absolutely hilarious. Dragged Phil on for like two plus weeks and whatnot. Had him jump through all kinds of loops at all different times of night. Uh, it was it was something to behold. Only for Phil to not get anything off at the end of it and cry poor and cry that he has been emotionally drained and manipulated and taken advantage of and so on and so forth. Cry me a river. And uh, how he was trying to use his statues, all those broken and uh, broken pieces of work as it's as an incentive an incentive to give him money so it just goes to show that phil is for sale and probably anything that phil has is for sale so just throwing it out there he does have a copy of the lion king unopened it's worth quite a bit someone might want to go ahead and try to get on that just saying maybe james the lesser maybe myself maybe both of us through a sock account who knows <laughs> Let's go. Now let's play the game. That is an epic. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. How about this? And I usually would not do anything like this whatsoever. Alright? I really wouldn't. But, in particular, I want to do something nice this morning. And for those who did not hear, I heard that these super best friends play are splitting up. After nine years of being together and being one of the most popular gaming channels on YouTube, they've almost done it as long as me. I technically have done it longer than them. I am the supreme being. I'm all about myself. But, uh, these guys were very popular. A lot of people liked them. Quite frankly, these guys apparently never really mentioned me in anything but a negative light. Um, but, you know what? They were synonymous with gaming on YouTube. They're breaking up. So what I will say is I wish them the best in their future endeavors and the best of luck to them. For those who have not heard it, during this holiday season, it's important to be positive. Very. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you talk about this, this, this entity, entity, this group of people who are breaking up, right? And you, you say you want to do something nice, which is not nice. Wishing those guys well. That's just something you should do. I guess it's, I guess for Phil it's nice because he has to really go out of his way to do it. But um, so you're talking about, you know, hey, you're wishing these guys well, even though you're saying these guys allegedly shitted on you and everything that they ever had to say about you was negative. But yet, you also said that, oh, they were around as long as I was, but I've been around longer. What are you doing? Like, is this supposed to be like a compliment sandwich or some shit? Like, why even bring this up? This up? What's the point? If you're going to basically try to sneak this, these guys. And let's be honest with you, Phil, the majority of your career, if not almost all of it, is negative. So all they did was point out the shit that was going on on a day-to-day -day basis. Or whatever the big thing that was to happen, which there are quite a few of those. So what is there to be upset about? And why are you trying to act like, why are you trying to act like 
you give a damn that these guys are leaving? Isn't it just one more person off the platform that you don't have to worry about? Isn't that, doesn't that mean you're going to finally hit 200,000 subs? Something? No? Okay. Very, very hypocritical. I'm, I'm hypocritical. You know, not focus on sour grapes or whatever, but instead just say, wish them the best. And that's what I feel is that I hope that they are successful individually. So there you go. I felt like just saying something. I've addressed it now, and now no one has to talk about it ever again. <laughs> there you go. The oh, final thing I'll say, and then we'll give it a rest for the plugs for the stream, which is hilarious because someone in stream chat just complained, even though I do a six plus hour stream some days, and I do five minutes of advertisement, and they're actually complaining about the advertisement. So uh, maturity level of some people during the holidays is pretty impressive. But anyway, hashtag DS positive 2018. So I have a funny story to tell everyone before we get to shout outs for people who contributed. All right, here's the funny story. You will get a big kick out of this. I talked a little bit about it previously. The story's finally come to a conclusion. <clears throat> so allow me to tell the whole story. As you guys know, right now, you know, financially, things aren't great for me. I need to raise a pretty large amount of money between now and tax time, which is April next year. And I made that publicly known to you guys on Thanksgiving so that if people wanted to start to help out, they could. Okay. Um, well, a lot of people have been pulling my leg and basically trolling me, messaging me, saying they were going to help. They'd like to help behind the scenes, but keep their info private and all kinds of stuff like this. Every single person who's done this has been a liar. They've all been trolls, basically messing with me, uh, trying to waste my time or pull my leg or try to spin it to make me get in trouble for things that I basically did not say or do. Fuck you. You're a liar. Um, because they want to do things that I do and interpret it in a negative light to make me look bad. It is what it is, okay? These people are jerks, right? So anyway, the reason I bring this up is because there was one person who for almost two weeks has been trying to, you know, basically saying they were going to help, that they were going to contribute, and they didn't want to be, they didn't want to have it be public. And I said, well, basically, no, I'm not doing stuff behind the scenes, so if you're going to do it, it has to be public. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is great. Oh, my God. Right. I even told him, I said, if you're going to contribute, you have to do it during a live stream via one of the methods, either cheering, subbing, or tipping, you know, or if you wanted to pledge to my Patreon or whatever, that's how you do it. You can't, I'm not accepting anything behind the scenes since my detractors seem to want to spin that into something horrendously negative, like I'm trying to hide stuff from the public, which I'm not. Um, I'm not doing that. So if you want to contribute, you have to do it publicly, okay? So fucking dishonest and two-faced and, and will do anything to make a fucking nickel. So this is someone who said, all right, what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you a large contribution and... What I would do, you know, what, however, I'm a super fan, and I know that you have all those statues that you used to collect. Which statues do you still have? So I told them which ones I still have. They wanted some pictures of some of them, so I took a few pictures. Basically, I talked to this person for, like, two weeks, okay? And every time I talked to them, they would want something else. And I was like, listen, you gotta understand something, all right? I gotta put my foot down at this point. We've been talking for almost two weeks. You haven't contributed anything yet. You keep asking for more stuff from me, like pictures of statues and shit. And at this point, I gotta say... I think maybe you're trolling me. A lot of other people have been trolling me. And so it's this simple, you know, if you're going to contribute, great, I'm very appreciative. But I can't keep wasting time going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with you. Ultimate laziness. If you contribute, that's one thing, right? Then we'll talk as much as you want as a thanks for what you've contributed. You've done nothing. And you just keep telling me you're going to do stuff and you never do. So what's the deal? Oh my god. So this person finally told me. That this weekend, they would be contributing during one of my big streams. In fact, they actually said it was going to be during the Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, Suicide King stream yesterday that they would be contributing. And I said, well, that's great. Thanks for letting me know. Now I know if a big contribution comes through on stream that it's from you. And then we will talk about if, you, if you're if you interested in one of my... Now, ladies and gentlemen, as he keeps going through what the situation is, let's talk about why he's actually putting this all out there. Let's talk about why he's being transparent. He's scared of the email leaks. <laughs> He's scared that the emails are gonna the the emails are gonna leak on him, which they end up doing anyway. And uh, he's trying to get out and ahead of the curve. But here's my thing, and I'd like you guys to kind of just kind of ponder on this uh, moving forward over the next couple of weeks or so, however long this might last. How many other people had is was he talking to around the same time? Because remember, this is the whole $6,000 situation with the statue. This was going on. This bleeds into that whole situation with the $9,000 thing. Phil admits that. My question is, is how many other people were talking to Phil at, around, at and around the same time? This is where the Tevin video is actually kind of important. But like I said, we'll go over that separately. Where when you look at the timeline, 
of at what time these emails were being sent back and forth and so on and so forth. We're talking about at all times of the day. We're talking about into the early morning, so on and so forth, which makes me think that he was talking to somebody else while he was talking to this guy. And it was just, he's he was sitting there basically in a, in a snowball of different people trying to give him money or allegedly trying to give him money. And that's why he was doing this at all times of the day. Hence the reason why streams were starting late, streams were bleeding were bleeding and going on a little later than they normally would, so on and so forth. It's just my thought, though. But um, I think there might, there. well, I'm thinking, there might be more email leaks. There might. Like statues or whatever, you know, we'll talk more about the details. Maybe, you know, maybe, you know, we'll see. All right, maybe. And I told him up front, by the way, it's not, you're not purchasing my statue or whatever. This would be a thanks for you contributing. I would maybe send you something since this person was basically telling me they were going to do a really large contribution and be very helpful okay all right, all right. now here's the thing guys here's what you got to understand <clears throat> there's two reasons why i really didn't believe this person the first is that if this was someone who actually cared and just wanted to help they just would they wouldn't drag me along they wouldn't waste my time they wouldn't be spending two fucking weeks they would have just done it by now you know what i mean not oh let's keep talking let's keep talking let's keep getting more information let's keep wasting your time it would have been i want to help phil boom here's the help right? Plus, they would have already done it on stream, right? They wouldn't be talking about doing stuff behind the scenes. I kind of knew this was, whole thing was phony to begin with. I just had this feeling that the whole thing was not And yet, you still let it drag on for two plus weeks. <laughs> I had a feeling this was phony. I had a feeling this was, this was legitimate. I felt like they were dragging me around and making me jump through hurdles and shit like that for nothing. But... All right. So the good news is, I didn't go crazy. Um, I didn't go out of my way to give them personal information or nothing. It was basically just very, you know, it was a lot of talking, but basically I, I didn't waste too much time because I just in the hopes that this wasn't some nonsense, okay? So all that being said, yesterday, the Red Dead Redemption stream comes and goes. No major contribution comes from this person, okay? <laughs> and so I um, basically emailed him afterward, and I was like, so what happened? Because you had been building me up all this time. You told me specifically the time and date you were going to do this, and you didn't. So what happened? And they got back to me and said, "Oh, so sorry. I was busy earlier today. Uh, but here's the here it is. I sent it to you during your nighttime stream in Minecraft, and here's a PayPal invoice as evidence that I did this." <laughs> I knew this person was lying because I didn't get any large, you know, tip contribution or whatever during the Minecraft stream. I'm not dumb. I would have seen it. So I knew this guy was full of crap. I open up this invoice. Okay. This invoice. And... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I mean, I, I don't even know where to start. I really don't even know where to start. Number one, if you... I only posted some highlights of this on Twitter last night because I laughed my ass off when I opened this up on my... By the way, opened it up not on my computer where I do my work because I'm not fucking stupid. Just in case this person tried to put a virus or something in it. I'm not dumb, okay? But <clears throat> I open it up and... <laughs> it's basically the worst attempt to fake something I may have ever seen in my entire life. Like, maybe the only worst attempt was from an actual five-year-old who tried to, like, cut pieces of paper and paste it on with Elmer's glue. But this was really bad. So, number one, they sent me supposedly a PayPal invoice that does not even look like a PayPal invoice. It's, a, it's an outdated invoice from years ago. I know, because I use PayPal, and I know how to generate an invoice, and the invoices look nothing like what this guy sends me. All right, that's number one. Number two, he's got the date and his email address and the amount of money that supposedly he donated and all this all different fonts all some of it's pixelated some of it isn't some of it's fuzzy some of it isn't it's like pathetic i mean i just got to say it's one of the most pathetic things i've ever seen and how this person thought they were going to fool me with this i have no idea but it's actually funny cuz you can tell they actually did spend time trying to like align false information on top of the the other information they actually put time into it but it does look like a child did it. It does. It looks like maybe like someone who was like 12 years old sat there in Microsoft Paint cutting numbers and painstakingly trying to place it over stuff. It looked really bad. All right. 
So I open this up, I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And immediately I know, well, now I know two weeks of, of, of wasted time talking to this person, right? They were just dicking around with me, uh, which sucks because the contribution they had promised to, to do would have been a huge positive towards, you know, reaching the goal that I need to pay my taxes next year. So fucking greedy. And, you know, it sucks that I keep getting a little bit of hope, even though I don't really believe these people. I get a little bit of hope that, oh, maybe I actually will be able to get through this. I will actually be able to pay the taxes next year. Um, and I'll keep my house and all that. And, you know, then I find out I wasted all this goddamn time, right? So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, and so here's the thing that really gets me on top of all this. So I immediately get this. And it's obviously fake. So I respond to the guy. I go, well, now I know you've been wasting my time. Uh, you know, I don't know what the hell your problem is. You obviously need to seek help because you wasted everyone's time here for two weeks. And it's not even like you negatively affected me. You know? Now, here's the thing. I was just talking about that, how over the last two weeks and, and Almighty Tevin points out in his video, I'll link it in the description, praise be Almighty, where you see how how erratic Phil's behavior was. In truth, Phil, you're the one who wasted everybody else's time. At the end of the day, all he did was screw was basically screw you over. And by proxy, it trickled down to everybody else. But you're the adult, Phil. You're the adult. If the guy was really going to come through with the money, you should have just let him do it, and that's that. You're the one who sat there and let him basically drag you by the snout for two plus weeks and make you look like a goddamn fool. I mean, I can understand why he decided to talk about this now so he can get out ahead of it. But even when the leaks came out, it looked so much worse. <laughs> it looked so much worse. It made Phil look so desperate. It, and even in the, the email exchanges, I should say, you can see how Phil is extremely high hope and then you slowly but surely see his progression. It's almost like I wish someone would put a, put uh, different expressions of Phil's face along with each email as, as it goes along because you can see Phil's expression change as the emails come through. You can see Phil's desperation. You can see... Or you can read his frustration. You can read his desperation. You can keep hearing him saying, you know, this would really help me and Kat. I hope this isn't a troll. I really need this. I really need this money. You know what I'm saying? Please don't be a troll, but I'm starting to feel a certain type of way. So on and so forth. You could, it bled his desperation in such a way that I could see why people would feel sorry for him. I could see it. At the end of the day, do what you want to do. Or do what you have to do. But I feel I could see why people would feel bad for him. Because of how easy he put how easy it was the to have himself be put into position and then just to watch him get taken along for the ride for two whole weeks. Instead of focusing on the content to try to make it better and to be immersive, he had his mind on this money because this money was easier. It was easier than doing the work on stream. If he had gotten that, if he had actually received that six thousand dollars, I guarantee you he had taken a couple of days off the week he got it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. No different with the nine thousand. He would have definitely taken extra days off because he doesn't need to do all the extra work no more. He actually has a portion of it. He would tell you guys, "Hey guys, I need to relax my voice," <coughs> or you know, "Hey guys, you know, I need to do some stuff with Cat for the holidays, so on and so forth, and whatnot." But please keep supporting. Please keep contributing because I need that money to pay my bills. But I'm going to take a little bit of time off, guys. I just need to relax for a little bit. A little bit. It's been really, really stressful. But you guys have come through in a big way. I just need a little bit of time to myself. He did it to himself. DSP News. So, it wasn't like anything happened negative because of this. You literally just wasted both of our time. So, screw off, basically. And the guy goes back to me and says, Oh, how dare you call me a, a hater or a troll? I'm a real fan. I think you need to seek the help, Phil. And I just facepalm myself and I'm like, this guy must be insane. Like, he must actually have mental issues or something. You know, back in high school, I was on a cocktail of medications. I mean, real talk, when I was in high school at one point, I was to the point where I, I was losing it. I wanted to either go do something drastic or, you know, go nuts. There was a girl who I was, like, obsessed with for a while. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me that I'm a bad person. It's telling me that I don't deserve any success. It's telling me that I'm ugly. It's telling me that I'm fat. It's telling me that I'm gross. It's telling me that I'm not funny, that I'm 
worthless, that I'm a sellout, that I'm a shill, that I'm a piece of crap, that I don't deserve any kind of positivity, I don't deserve my girlfriend, I don't deserve the love of my parents, I don't deserve to live. And it's there. And it never fucking goes away. It, it, some people say, I'll just go and I'm- Phil, no one's trying to take your life. What people are trying to do is cut off the avenues for you taking the easy way out. That's what it comes down to. At least that's just my opinion, of course. That's what it comes down to. You're, you've are you you've had it easy for too long, and you shit it on all those people who got you there, who brought you there. Now you're going to have to work for it. No one's trying to kill you. No one's trying to... It's not even a business, so I'm not even going to give it enough respect to call it that. No one's sitting there trying to bomb your little YouTube channel. You're doing a good job of that on your own. No one's sitting there trying to bomb your little thing on Twitch, even though you should be kicked off because you've broken TOS. While other people who do did nothing wrong ended up getting kicked off permanently. No one owes you anything. Not at all. And every situation you seem that you you seem to be in, in some strange way, you end up putting yourself there. Especially this year. It's been kind of interesting. I'm not saying the whole year, and I'm not saying every situation, but most. And you say that you wanted to stop, but then you want to shit on those same people the next day. You sat there and targeted, you know what I'm saying, almighty, and then you thought there weren't going to be no repercussions. People in your own fan base have sold you out for some of the shit you've done behind the scenes. Now you're so scared you can't trust anybody. That's all on your own doing, Phil. And it was all going to come down this way. It was destined for it to happen this way. No matter how high, high no matter how high you rise, the fall is always going to be the worst. And like I said, people can drag you out as much as they want. They can go ahead and <laughs> they can go ahead and try to patch up the bleeding on this little piggy all he wants or all they want. You're still going to bleed, Phil. You're still going to bleed. And like I said, whether it's now or whether it's 10 years from now, whether it's Almighty Tevin, whether it's uh, Light Side Bill, whether it's James the Lesser, whether it's Agent Proper, whether it's Memology or Mighty D, Snor Brunel, Mr. Huffstuffs, whether it's them or whether it's the next generation that comes up from under each one of those individuals, someone will be there to point it out. It's not going to stop until you stop. And the sad thing is, is you really can't stop now. You're really stuck. And it's not that you could be 40 and not start over. But see, the thing is, is you lack the skills, you lack the know-how, you lack the book, the book smarts and the street smarts to do it. And that's why you got no choice. Same thing with Wings. Wings of Redemption really wants to go on and do this and do that. Like I said, we'll start covering Wings next year. But Wings wants to do this, that, and the third after he has a surgery. The, the the weight loss looks like it's going really well. But then Wings knows, he knows, he can't really do anything else. He's going to, I hope he's going to at least try. But Wings knows he can't do anything else. He's stuck in this shit. Because he, there's too much art, there's too much ammunition against him online that it could easily fuck him in real life. And he knows it. So the very thing that he wants to run away from, the very thing he got his $25,000 for, he can't escape it. He's a slave to it in a lot of ways. That's a harsh term to use, but even Wings realizes that. But I hope, for Wings' sake, he'll still try. I hope for him that he still tries. TSP News. That's not the solution either. Pills help. Don't get me don't get me wrong. You you know, pills absolutely help, but they don't cure these kind of issues. They just help to mitigate and help to keep it under wraps. You know, like I said, like sometimes it's the guy in the shoulder, like I mentioned. So maybe that guy in the shoulder goes away for a couple days. But he's gonna come back, but at least he's gone for a couple days, right? Because the fact that he actually like thinks this is trolling or funny. But see what I mean? Like, this is the level of person to f that fucks with me. And it's sad. It really is sad that when there are people who collectively put their, their time together to do this stuff, they can actually concretely hurt me because they have. You, got, you, get, you guys uh, may not realize this, all right? But people like this have hurt me a lot. Earlier this year, I had a few sponsorship opportunities through various different avenues. And when those sponsorship opportunities arose, all right, these people 
basically jumped up and said, uh, you know, oh, Phil's a, a pedophile, Phil's a racist, Phil's this, and they would spam those companies uh, who wanted to, to basically do sponsorships with me with this stuff. Now, to the normal person, you see this, you're like, what the fuck? It's a bunch of insane people. Where did this cloud of insane people come from doing this nonsense? You know, but let's face it, even if all that stuff's untrue about me, which it is. Fuck that, Phil. You are a dirty, rotten liar. What company would want to deal with me when you have to deal with this mob of insane fucking people who follow me around, right? And that's what happened all this year with sponsorship opportunities, with my partnership with Curse. There's no way you could just lie, 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 and never have a fact behind it and expect this story to hold. Where they had to drop me from their partnership because of the trolls. You know, like, that's what I mean. Like, it's fucked up that these people who actually are mentally ill somehow have formed this coll collaborative group of just insane people who hate me for no real concrete reason. There's no explanation for it. It's just insanity. It's, it's a collective insanity movement. And they do what they do just for the sake of hurting me. And it's awful, you know? And that's the thing. Like, this, this situation, not a big deal. Was it a waste of two weeks of my time of email correspondence? Yes. Did it give me a little bit of hope that kind of now is squandered during the holiday season and I feel shitty? Yes. But at the same time, it wasn't a big deal. You know what I mean? The Phil drama show every day. Stop being a drama queen. But those other things are big deals. If I was able to get sponsorship opportunities, if I was able to keep my partnership with Curse, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in right now. You can't, you don't know that. And that, and there's no way that between sponsorship, at least at your level, and whatever you were bringing into Curse, which wasn't much, that you were going to make up this $16,000 deficit. You would have still begged for money. They may have helped, it might have helped mitigate it a little bit, but you were still going to owe, you were going to still need twelve grand. I mean, I'm saying probably even thirteen grand. So it wouldn't have helped you that much. And that's even if you make anything off the sponsorships. Because you would have asked for the money directly over trying to pump out or over a large group of people, 50 or more, that are going to actually buy, um, you know, any type of gaming peripherals from you. And that's that's been proven. You're not good at selling products. Hell, you can barely sell your Teespring. You really think you're going to buy chairs? You th really think 50 people in, in Phil's fan base are going to buy chairs? Let's be honest. I've been able to pay my fucking taxes all year, but it's their fault. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, It's Tevin's fault. So that's what I mean. Like these people who are actually nuts and do this crazy shit actually hurt me with their fucking actions and it sucks, right? So I just thought I would bring this up because I talked about it on Twitter and it was so insane. And I was like, can you believe? But this is what I mean. this is like the, the common person who really adamantly doesn't like me and goes out of their way to hurt me. This is their mindset. Like they actually thought making a fake invoice was somehow trolling me. They thought this thing that looks like a five-year-old made it. That's the that's the intelligence level and mindset of these people who do this crazy shit. It's not normal people like you and me who have lives and who need to, you know, want to do positive stuff in our lives. These people are just so insane that all they do is focus on negative shit. Now, wow, I really got him by dragging him along for two weeks and sending him this crazy-ass fucking buy or this crazy-ass uh, fake invoice and shit, right? It's nuts. All that being said, it's under the rug. And by the way, like I, I said this on Twitter officially last night, and I'm going to say it on stream today. I am not going to accept any contribution whatsoever outside of something publicly through the, the avenues that are available. So that's Patreon, Teespring, cheering, subbing, or tipping. That's it. Wow. I'm accepting absolutely nothing else whatsoever. So, you know, no more wasting of my time um, when it comes to this kind of crap. I'm not. I'm just not going to... If people message me, oh, Phil, I want to help you outside of those... I'm just not responding. I'm not. I'm not going to waste my time on that crap. Because it really is just a waste at this point. Look how scared he is. Look how frightened he is. So now, even behind the scenes, all the bullshit that I had said, it was probably a broadcast or two ago, about how many times has he asked for people, or how many times have people who have given him big money did it behind the scenes like this. Now, that avenue has been cut from him, and he doesn't even really realize it. He's worried about what's going on at hand at the moment. He's not thinking about in the long term that, oh, well, maybe, for example, I'll just pick somebody randomly. Uh, let's say Golden Colts. Let's just say. I'm not saying that he's done this. I'm just throwing it out there as an example. Let's say Golden Colts every once in a while drops, you know, $200 to Phil. Maybe once a month. And he does it completely behind the scenes. He sends it directly to Phil. It's not on, it's not on stream. No one knows about it. Now Third Eye... Now, it's pot now, most of you are like, oh, well, Third Eye the Third might still do that. Phil might not want him to do that now. 
Phil might not want him to do that now because now if uh, if anybody ever caught wind or if anybody that's in that Gestapo inner circle, you know what I'm saying, feels a certain type of way and gets expelled or excommunicated or they decide to leave on their own on their own accord, then they can go ahead and basically uh, ring out everybody else and all their dirty little secrets. So you got to understand, this isn't just about the haters, detractors, and trolls. It's about people within his inner circle. You're seeing his paranoia like almost like a sponge. And he's slowly but surely trying to wring out as much of that shit as possible. He can easily, you know, wave it off and say, Golden Colts, oh, well, he used to do that. But then after I said everything goes public, everything starts to go public. You know what I mean? Because Phil is really, really scared now that um, he doesn't give a shit about people's information. He's just scared that the amount of money that is being given to him behind the scenes is going to come out. That's what scares him. That's what has him so worried. And the thing is, is this is going to hit him in a major way moving forward. It's going to hit him in a major way. And people are going to be all over it. Because now, Phil, I'm not sure if you're realizing it, but um, now, Phil, if you're going to go ahead and put all your cards out and everything that's given to you has to be public, people are going to have a better idea of what you're making. People are going to have a much better idea of what you're making. So now, if Eddie B. 43... Or, uh, yeah, NDB43 and Secret Life, or I think he just goes by Secret now, to do their calculations this year as they did last year. I need to get that. I think it's on Twitter. I need to find that um, because it's, it's a nice little clip to have, and I, I just like to bring that up every once in a while. Um, when they're getting ready to do their calculations next year and every year moving forward that they decide to keep doing this, they're going to have a much, a much more accurate idea of what you're making and what you're bringing home. And yet again, Phil, this is you not thinking in the long term. But that's all right, though, because even with the stuff he knows, I can smell some bacon cooking. Mmm, I smell that bacon cooking. Um, you know what I mean? There's absolutely nothing, no reason to, to be bothering with this crap. Um, it's all bullshit. So, there you go. If you really guys really want to help me during this holiday season... Cheer supper tip during a stream or contribute to my Patreon or buy something from my Teespring. That's how you can help. We've had a lot of positivity around the streams lately in regards to, you know, all that. Contributions and, and subs. Everything's been great. So, no complaints there. You know. And th that's it. No more wasting of my time with these, this nonsense from fucking mentally ill people. I'm just done with it. Okay? Sorry for fucking what? That was my depression. And Knox took me a dollar, said, just so you know, no one was given an early copy of Kingdom Hearts 3 by Square Enix. It was some warehouse worker somewhere who stole copies and is selling them, uh, you know, basically on the black market on online. Yeah, at least that's the story. I don't know how true that story is. That's what I, a lot of people have told me. But I don't have any idea where that information is coming from. Um, when it comes to early release copies, times vary. Like, for example, some, some game publishers actually will give out a copy of their game a month early. For various people. Gaming media, uh... In particular, I haven't really seen that happen with a streamer. Like, maybe I've seen a streamer get a game one or two weeks ahead of time. But I've never really... Phil, there was a, there was a bunch of different ways that, that, that those copies got out there. Okay? That is one way that's being presented to you. Okay? And I think they caught that guy, too. But it doesn't matter now, because a lot of that stuff is has made it into other people's hands. And as far as I know, he hasn't ratted the other guys out yet. But in any case, that's what's happening. But Phil, yet again, narrow-minded as usual, needs to go back to... It's the practice's fault, though. The, the, the review copies and the extra copies and, and, and the people and the prestigious few who still get it, they're still part of the problem, though. So 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 it's semantics that it was a warehouse guy or a couple of warehouse guys, as the theory is starting to go, that actually did it and then put it all out there. The, the, the practice shouldn't the practice just shouldn't happen because if people weren't getting free copies or advanced copies or review copies then then they would have no reason to steal it shut the fuck up phil you're such an idiot <laughs> you're such an idiot you don't understand understand shit about human behavior greed phil this is what it all what all that came about off greed that's your that's your stock and trade that's your bread and butter okay that's your cherry juice with a side of cherry of gout tea. That's this is you. You should understand this better than anybody, and yet you don't because you want to keep uh, attacking this practice. Like Dark Side Phil talking about this shit day in day out, year after year is going to change it. No, Phil. Even even on your best day, you couldn't get a girl to change her panties, let alone change a practice. Bye, bitch. I've seen a streamer get a game like a month ahead of time. That's pretty insane. Uh, then again, 
if it's a game like like Kingdom Hearts where it's a super long game and you need to beat it to review it for release, maybe some reviewers did actually get the game early. But at least from what people have been saying, all right, um, I don't know. I don't know who it is. I, people have been saying it's a warehouse worker. You know, is there actual evidence of that? I don't know because I see nothing. All right. So there you go. Uh, as the palace is burned, what I talk about with Kat is none of your business. Please stop asking personal things and saying things that are trying to rile me up this morning. This is the third cheer now straight that you tried to do it, and I'm not going to take your stupid bait. So, if you want to troll someone, try elsewhere, all right? Why am I toxic? Oh, Phil actually is a really toxic person, so we're just going to keep saying, Why am I toxic? Because it's a meme. <laughs> As the palace is burned, again did a troll cheer and said, Well, I only follow you. Do you have any other recommendations of other people that I could go bother? No. How about you just get a life? <laughs> How about that? How about you don't bother anyone? How about you, instead of sitting around bothering streamers, you go do something productive with your life? How about that? I mean, that would probably be the best recommendation I can give you. <clears throat> oh shit, hello. Seven, hello. Collapse detected. Advise relocation yeah. to indicated safe zone. That sounded like a complete idiot. <laughs> I was just saying, what a moron. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Alright guys, so there we go. Um, like I said, we'll go over the Almighty Tevin video somewhere down the line. Um, I'll try to see if we can do it by the end of the year. If not, we'll save it for next year. Um, and we'll try to get more extensive in it. As at the time I'm recording this, the gift of subs are just continuing to go up. It's an interesting time. Uh, I'm going to try to get a broadcast out for you guys every day up till Christmas. Uh, obviously, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day... I won't actually be around. Uh, none of us actually will. But um, Kenny said that he'll actually put up the videos for that day, so I'm going to have to pre-record all that. But uh, you'll still get the heartfeltness out of all of it, I think. And um, it's just a nice way of moving forward. Uh, oh, the, uh, hopefully you guys were able to check out the plug before the video actually started. That was from Dante Crisis. That's the new clothing line that he has uh, that he has at his Teespring, as well as the new shirt that he's promoting, which is the one that I that actually that actually inspired me to work on my my project for the end of the year. Like I said, it's nothing serious as it pertains to the project, but it really helped kind of inspire me and get the noggin jogging. And, uh, you know, he's a fellow content creator. He's a nice guy. He does a lot of great content. And I'd like to just shout out his Teespring and, and like I said, the shirt in question, which uh, all the shirts over there are great. But this the, the Dragon Ball theme one is the one that, uh, that, that had me going. So you'll see that at the beginning of the video. I'll leave the information for him down in my description box, as well as the link to both of these videos by Snor Brunel, as well as Almighty Tevin's video, if you guys have not seen it. Like I said, we'll go over that at a later time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening in. It's been a while since I've done a longer video. Um, thank you guys for hanging in there with the holiday videos. I very much appreciate it. And, uh, you know, have a happy holidays, guys, and take care of yourselves. Don't worry, there'll be, there'll be more baking cooking. <laughs> <laughs> leading up till Christmas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is DSP News. Always late, never breaking. Unreliable coverage that you can't count on. Oh, yes. A GTG Network and Productions. I am your host slash anchor, GTG, and I'm signing off. Happy holidays, guys. End of broadcast.